Romeo, get out of the gym. I'm gonna count to three. And if you don't, I'm gonna kick you out myself. No, Coach Abby. Romeo won't leave the gym because he's in our gym, the cheerleaders' gym. How dare you, Diana? Oh. Coach Abby, this was way too much. No, but on second thought, what if we don't go to school? What if we go on a strike against Coach Abby to show her who we are and to show her that we don't want to bow down to her and just do whatever she says? What do you mean, Diana? Protesting and skipping school? I don't know. I've already washed my hair. No, but don't get me wrong. I don't like skipping school, but I don't want to go back to school until Coach Abby doesn't change her attitudes towards us, the bunny cheerleaders. Yeah, you're right. I hate skipping school, but I also don't want to go until she changes her attitude. Really, I'm sick of her just showing off. So let's go make Mary and Nastia happy since they're not going to school. Yes, we'll relax and cook something tasty today. All right, so let's tell the girls that we're not going to go to school because we are protesting against Coach Abby. Yeah, so she can break her resistance. I invite you to the Dream City. Here, you will learn how to do an amazing manicure and also how to quickly style your hair and create chic hairstyles by choosing a trendy shade. And creating even a fancy makeup will be so much fun. After all, being beautiful is an art, and you deserve it. Hello, Hello girls. girls. Finally, is breakfast ready? I can't go to school hungry. Well, we have something to say. We're, we're not, not going, going to, to school. school. We're going to boycott Coach Abby's attitude. Yeah, so we're not going to school until she changes her attitude towards us. Funny. What? what? She'll definitely make hot dogs out of us. I love this idea because really, we would have training today and Coach Abby would just be yelling at us again. It annoys me. She won't be yelling at us anymore, Nastia. She can't do anything against us because she's alone. And, and we, we are, are a, a team. team. But since we won't go to school, what are we gonna do? We're gonna sit at home all day. No, girls, we're not gonna sit at home. We're gonna go shopping. Diana, do you have money? Well, just a little bit. Wow, wow Diana. Diana. Girls, these are my secrets, okay? So don't look. So girls, let's go shopping. Let's, let's go. go. I can see the bunny cheerleaders are late again. Call them. Coach Abby, they're coming. Maybe it was traffic jams. I don't want to hear anything about traffic. Just call them. Where are they? Call oh, I them. have to. Okay, okay. So mascot, tell me. Wait, wait. Girl, somebody's calling, but if it's Coach Abby, I'm not answering. Who is, Who is it? it? It's Mascot. Hey, Mascot. Hello. What's up? Hey, girls. Where are you? The training the has already begun. We're going to school today. We are going to break Coach Abby's attitude. Yes, yes we're, we're going, going to break, break Coach Abby's resistance. resistance. Girls, no. I'm waiting for you at school. Come and we'll have training. Don't be ridiculous. So what's up? What's mascot? We decided to arrange a strike for Coach Abby, okay? We're not gonna go to practice today. We're not. We're, We're going, going shopping, shopping today. Shopping. I got you, girls. So you've decided to arrange a strike against me. Well, if you don't come to training now, I'm gonna go to your house and show you a real strike. Oh, good afternoon, Coach Abby. Yes, I got you. Just 20 minutes and we'll be there. Faster. Coach Abby. The clock is ticking. What? Do they have a Will choice? They come? I can't believe it. Mascot called us when Coach Abby was with him. So, so she, she heard, heard everything? everything? It seems so. Guess we're not going shopping. All right, let's get ready for training. I'm never going to forgive Mascot. Girls, I don't think that Mascot did this on purpose. I think Coach Abby forced him to call us. He wouldn't do this to us. Coach Abby will definitely make hot dogs out of us. Mary, this was all Diana's idea. She had good intentions. But we ended up in trouble. Diana, what's gonna happen to us now? Well, we can't be afraid of Coach Abby. How not to be afraid of her? We have to show her that we are powerful, okay? Powerful? We're powerful? Yes, we're powerful. No, but why did you sit? Are you ready? No, nope, but you shouldn't be afraid of anything. We're going to go to the school and I'm going to talk to this Coach Abby and no, nope, but nothing's going to happen to us. Don't worry. Pizza, give us three hot chocolates on credit. Pizza, I want mine with cinnamon. 
And with coconut chips for me. Sorry, boys, not selling on credit. Ice is in here, and if you find out, I'm a goner. Pizza, stop kidding. Ice was always lending us. We, we always pay, pay back, back on time. time. Here, I can't sell on credit. Darn it. Maybe we'll borrow from Diana? From Diana? Diana and her friends aren't at school today. They arranged a strike for Coach Abby. Really? Yeah, she sent me a message on WhatsApp. I won't be at school today. All right. Will you give us at of least I'll give some you water? water? Basketball players without money? Pizza, you think we have elastic pockets? We came to the cafe with the girls yesterday. And that's all. No money. Yeah, going to the cafe with the girls, it's a money losing business. Brows, I promise soon. And what are we going to do? We don't have a date. Patrick, I'm looking for a pair now. Here, look. Which one do you like more? This one, this one, or this one? Raz, how are you getting to know them? Teach me. You have to know. Patrick, which one you'll choose? The first one. Okay, the ugliest one. I'll choose this one. Raz, can you give me the phone number of the ugliest one? No, look for it yourself. So, cutie, see you soon. No, Green, I did not. Where did you get all this money? Did you sell an ice cream stand? Don't tell me you sold all your designer swimsuits. Interesting. Who no, bought I'm them? Haircuts to dogs and cats, okay? Do they pay that much for cats and dogs? Tima, you don't understand. Dogs' haircuts cost more than your pig shave, okay? Do you know where I get my haircut? At the most expensive barber shop. Go easy. Dogs' haircuts cost more. Hey, guys. Pizza, we'd like two hot chocolates, please. Gigi, is Brow staring? Patrick, no, what would you do without me? You'll go with this one to the prom. Browse, you chose the prettiest hair for me on purpose? Patrick, if you don't like it, then search by yourself. I'm going all out for you, actually. Browse, you just don't want me to go with the prettiest girl, right? All right, Patrick. Learn how to get to know the girls. Learn. Wait. Who is this Don't lavender know, cutie? Staring at you. Who, Browse? Browse and Patrick. Learn how to get Julie, to know Julie girls. Is coming. Oh my god. Hey, cutie. Don't you want to get to know each other? Hey, Browse. Julie, it's you? I haven't recognized you. Yeah, Browse, I know. I kind of got prettier. No, not kind of. You've gotten a lot prettier. And with whom are you going to the prom? Alone. Julie, we're going alone because we don't have boyfriends, Julie. Julie, so maybe we'll go together. You're so cool. Browse, your chocolate. Browse, I agree. Uh, no, Browse, she doesn't agree. She can't go with you to the prom because she's not going to leave her friend alone to be with a boy. So we'll solve this problem now. Patrick, come here. Here are two cuties who are looking for a pair for Mr. the prom. Man, we did everything. We booked the bus for the school children. Also, we ordered sleeping bags. Good job, girls. And did you find a cook? Who's gonna cook for the scholars? Mr. Mike, we're going to look for a cook. But they're too expensive and we thought... Maybe... Maybe Ice could cook for us. He said yes. All right. Okay, I said yes. We're also gonna need security, some type of escort, to keep everyone safe. Mr. Mike, will we be accompanied? Like with bodyguards? Of course, girls. School buzz, we need an escort. Mike, I need to talk to you about the cheerleaders. But we haven't finished Abby? talking to Mr. Mike. We're discussing the details of our trip to the country house. I don't think talking about the bunny cheerleaders is an emergency. It is an emergency. The cheerleaders didn't come to school today and they've arranged a strike against me. All right, girls, leave. I need to have a serious conversation All with right, Abby. Teacher Mike. We still have lots of things to talk about. Abby, you shouldn't be like that with Jan and Lialia. We were discussing our trip to the country Mike, house. I'm here to talk to you about the bunny cheerleader's behavior. Do you know what they're talking to the mascot about me? Abby, relax. I understand. It's teenagers. For them, it's not, it's not easy, easy for them. For me. They're not cheerleaders. They're like tomboys. Abby, don't talk like this about the girls. They're not that bad. Basketball is cooler. No, our football is better. Prove us that it's better. What can we prove to you, basketball Shoot. players? Coach Abby is so strict and rude. But the chili just bunny just saw it. Hey, rats. Don't say nothing about the bunnies in front of us. Watch yourself. Actually, Coach Abby is complaining there about the bunnies too, Teacher Mike. They've skipped training once again. All right, girls, come on. Let's just say it was like a traffic jam. Hi, boys. Not skip, but what late. What happened talking about us? It was just a traffic jam. That's why we're late. Do you need to know about everything, rats? Coach Abby's complaining to Mr. Mike about you. You'd better go to the gym since you're already so late. Yeah, we, we have need to, to go. go. Bye. Smile. All right, basketball players. 
football is better. Rats, tell us, what's better, football, football better. or basketball? We didn't ask for Rad's there's opinions. There's a rumor going around school that the relationship between the bunnies and Coach Abby is not working out at all. It's not normal when the coach doesn't have a good relationship with their team. Yeah, but of course it's the bunnies fault. Interesting, so what's next? Well, when Coach Abby finds out everything about the bunnies, she's gonna dismiss them and she's gonna start training us. We'll, we'll be, be champions. champions. And the bunnies won't be the coolest ones in school anymore. The frogs will. So girls, starting tomorrow, we're gonna train really hard so Coach Abby will We'll see our best side, all right? Let's do it. If we do, we're gonna get everything in cheerleading career. Fans and boys. Everyone will recognize we're the coolest. Silence, girls. Let's work at this. It's just a plan and everything is mine, okay? My plan, my effort. What do you mean, Blondie? Don't be arrogant. We're practicing every day. It's our effort and we want to become cool. Of course you want to be cool, but after me, because I am the frog captain, all right? Why? Who said that you were a captain? We're hearing this for the first time. Well, I said it and you just heard it, all right? Got it? No questions. No, no questions, questions, Blondie. Blondie. That is wonderful. Now let's go practice. What's going to happen to the bunny cheerleaders? Nothing. I'll cover up for them. You'd better not argue with Coach Abby, because she's already set Teacher Mike against the girls. Watch out, or you'll get from Teacher Mike too. Believe me, nothing can set my uncle against me. I'm his favorite nephew. I warned you. Thanks, mascot. Oh my god, we're in time. Mascot, wasn't Coach Abby here just now? Hi, Diana. What do you mean by wasn't? I was talking to you on the phone and she was right next to me. Girls, I'm innocent. She forced Girls, me to call what's you. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen now? Well, she's gonna make hot dog out of us. Diana, don't worry. I'll cover up for you and your girls. Coach Abby won't do anything to you. Romeo, it's best if you don't get involved because you're gonna get into hot water. Yeah, Romeo, don't mess with the coach. Romeo, leave before she comes. Oh, girl, so... Does somebody want to explain to me why you're late again for practice? Coach Abby, we promise we won't be late for training again. Coach Abby, me as captain of the team, I want to cover up for my team because you're too strict on us. What? How dare you talk to me like that? Captain of the team? Do you know who I am? I know you're our Coach Abby. You're my uncle's girlfriend. If I tell him how you're talking to the cheerleaders, he'll quickly leave you. Oh my god, Romeo. He'll get now. Listen, Romeo. Who the heck are you? A football player? A basketball player? Get no, out of I'm the Romeo. Gym. No, I won't leave. I'll be protecting Romeo, Diana. Romeo, get out of the gym. I'm going to count to three. And if you don't, I'm going to kick you out myself. No, Coach Abby. Romeo won't leave the gym because he's in our gym. The cheerleader's gym. How dare you, Diana? Oh. Coach Abby, this was way too much. You're our coach, not our caregiver. Diana showed her. Yes, yes, yes. Well, what is Coach Abby doing? Next time, Coach Abby, I'll catch your hand. Girls, no practice today. But why? Diana, she retreated. And yes, bunny cheerleaders, you're not going to the country house on the summer holidays. And also, Romeo, you disappointed me. Diana, did you hear what she said, huh? Yes, but we are going to the country house on the summer holidays, and also, we're going to have practice today. Diana, did you see? We showed her. Yeah, Romeo, thanks for sticking by my side. Diana, are we really going? Girls, have I ever lied to you? Diana, I will suffer One, nothing two, for three, you and your on, friends. Girls, let's go practice. Guys, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and wait for cool new episodes because lots of things are happening. See you guys soon. Bye! Bye. Victory! Bunnies, Bunnies are, are super, super better than, than the others. others. Success, Success is waiting, waiting for the bunnies. Bunnies are the best. Then check me out.